You don't want to miss this moon footage that I took tonight with my Nikon P900. The moon came up, um, I wonder if it came up a little late than it normally did. And in a, a slightly different spot is what I think it did. Slightly different spot in the sky, perhaps. But it was still viewable. Look at look at these black clouds over here. Let me let me bring this over here. Let me look at this. When you see these like coming around, I think there's some type of energy. I really do some type of an energy, even though it may appear as if it's like um, dark gray clouds or just normal clouds. There's an energy. There's a frequency frequency inside of there. As it goes across the moon, the moon was pretty clear for the most part, except when some of that came flying by. And I, I'm going to show you this too. I'm just going to move myself out of the way. Let me let me do this. Watch this, you all. Look at this. You see where I'm at? I'm going to I'm going to move myself. Really shrink it round. Shrink it just for a moment. This right here that you're looking at. This is the crater inside the moon. This whole entire thing right here and this edge, this is actually this spot right here by me. You see it? Doesn't it look strange? Look at it. But that's enough of that. That's enough of this. It looks strange. It's beneath me. It's the crater. Up close, and I didn't do nothing to it just added some sharpening but let me let me get the moon on here you all we want to find the moon okay I move the moon away I'm gonna move the moon back the moon's coming back I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself on here a little bit small because I don't want to get in the way of the moon I don't is it going is it going I'm going to, um, I'm going to play it. You don't want to miss it. If you can't see the moon where you're at, and chances are you, some people got rain and some people got clouds, they're just not able to see it. You can see it here. You really can. Let me, I could be talking to myself, but it won't be the first time. It won't um, at all. Hello, everyone. Thank you um, for tuning in. Good evening. Can you all hear me? Hello, Justice, Rebecca, um, Carol, Frank Cooper, Blue, Blue Aqua, Philip. Hello, everyone. If I didn't say your name, let's watch this footage of the moon. I just set my Nikon to um, record. I'm going to push the play button. And I, I haven't filtered it or anything at all. Watch it. I slowed it down a bit. Hello. <laughs> Scrappy dappy do kind of sort of This is tonight's moon less than an hour ago Hello, Susan B. Honey.
It looks so wild. Well, you're welcome, Danny Lovett. Thank you, Ronald. What is all the showing on the moon? I don't know. Sometimes it blurs itself out so you can't see what's on the moon too. It does. really cool. So cool to look at it. Oh. I know, just one side. Then and now it's going pretty good. Just trying to get this moon. tried to sharpen it some, but it doesn't really do much good. There's something flying around on the moon. Good evening, Penny. Try to document it every night. Oh, Marcy, that's wonderful. Oh, you're welcome, Rebecca. Linda, yes, smash the button. Oh, helicopter traffic at night is flying maneuvers. It truly is not every night that you get to look at the moon because sometimes it doesn't even make an appearance at all. You wait and wait and it doesn't show up to the wee hours of the morning and you don't want to get out of bed and do it. That, that bright light on the side looks like the door. Look, see that thing flying across the moon? Yeah, it's mind-blowing. It was pretty big. <laughs> it looks like it's in a haze around the edges of it. Yeah, you saw a ship. There's another one. Hello, muddy girl. Hello, Jim. There's lots of black dots on the moon. 
Wow. I don't know what that was. It is. It just sits there in the sky. I think it was a dragon, Andy. That sounds really good because I've captured a dragon before. Hello, Tony. I don't know. Dragon family is the royal family. The AI would not let me get that clear. It wouldn't. If you've got a digital camera, it can blur it out on you. And if there's a haze up there, see now it's trying to focus. Linda, yeah, I was outside in my driveway filming this. See this? See this spot right here? This area is an area where things fly across like that. I'll get out of the way because I don't want to be in the area. Oh, thanks, Rebecca. Oh, Linda, honey, you arrived exactly when you were meant to arrive. We're just watching the moon. I know, 4th Street. It looks like it rose. The AI doesn't want to focus. I don't want to get in the way of the moon. I've got it slowed down a tad bit, just a tad bit, half, but well, actually half the speed so we could see things that would fly across. If you play it at normal speed, you're liable to miss something. Hello, Mickey, honey. Marcy, that's funny. You see something just flew up the side of the moon. I shouldn't say that it's AI that blurs it out. What if it's the technology right here that senses it's being filmed and itself blurs it? You feel the wind being. Oh. It is kind of calming. Peaceful. Oh, that makes... I've not heard that before. Oh, you're welcome. 
moon shadow, moon shadow. It didn't want me to zoom up close, that's why it kind of blurred itself. It went out of definition. Please give this video a thumbs up if you've just tuned in, you often haven't hit it yet. Okay, this is some um, moon footage. I'm trying to document the moon every night while it's up there before the before it turns into a full moon. It's getting pretty close. Aw, oh, good night, Penny honey. We love you too. be nice to look at it on a big screen. I know, a campfire. That would be cool if this was a great big like um, drive-in theater with the moon on it. <laughs> a screen that big and a campfire. That would be really cool. Yes, Grappy Dappy do. It should be clear, but it doesn't get clear until I zoom away, which is really odd. I don't think I've ever watched Friday the 13th. It sounds too scary. Fly by. What if it's, um, you know the Death Star, how it opened up in the middle? These observatories in Hawaii, they open themselves up in the middle too. They open up the band and then they close it all the way around. The moon is too bright to view it with your cell phone. I have to use the filter on my um, whoopsie that was me I'm plugging my camera on my um, Nikon I have to use the built-in filters oh alien honey I'm using my Nikon P900 right here. See it? That's what I use. Boom. Nikon P900 with the 83 times zoom. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite to zoom up on the moon with, except I can't go live with it. I see something else flew down the bottom of the moon. There comes the, oh, there it goes again. Oh, 
goes another one. Another one. That part on the moon over there, it got bigger. It got into its it got into its elongated doorway. Right on the side there goes another one. Oh, that that bright spot is the door that's on the moon. See it? On the very edge over there. It like opened up more. This was the clouds that were coming by. There's another one. I'll show you those structures on the moon when this video gets through playing. A projection of a weird Petri dish. Yeah, you're at the nine o'clock position. Hello, Appleworks, honey. Hello, Susan Donahue, honey. Well, it'd be great to ascend to a 5D. See, look at this, it's round. Some of them are more dense than the others. A 15 minute planet. Well, the black hole could fly from the Earth to the Moon, was it in 14 minutes? Could travel? That's what they said. Yeah. You do whatever you love. This is soothing and therapeutic. Oh, you're welcome. Um, Create X Inc. T Y S M. Thank you so much. I understood that. That's great. Yeah, the wildlife sounds really pretty. We're trying to see what's going to come in front of it. Look at the ring around it, and it's literally got a black, a black edge. You know how in drawing and art class you had to put a black line around your picture? That's what this looks like it's got. I'm going to show you the structure. See how clear it is right here? When I zoom up, AI blurs it. Or the moon blurs it. It's clear until they make it unclear. My, that's my that's my camera zooming in and out that goes up and yeah. There's crickets out there. Um. 
Susan Donahue, those are the sound of nature that's all around my house. Annie, the moon is not we think what we think it is. It, it, it probably isn't what we think it is, but it's uh, a very familiar part of our world. It is. So it's iconic. Oh, you forgot what nature sounded like. Yeah. Oh, you have great uh, volume rose honey. They're capping the live chat at around 250, 260. They're not allowing it to grow any higher. Hello there, Danny, honey. That's wonderful, Sandy. Orbs in the sky. Do you live near a swamp, Frank Cooper? You wish you could fall asleep to the sounds. I could actually make this into a a long video and upload it to where it would play. Sasquatch. <laughs> Do you think it's good sleep music? Because I can literally put it into like maybe a three hour video that could be on a playlist called sleep, sleep music, <laughs> good sleep music. Oh, that's wonderful. Susan, honey, it wouldn't go viral because of my digital identity. But who knows, at least if somebody can find peaceful sleep from it, it's worth it. Aww. Yeah, camping sleep music. I'll try to do that tomorrow. It'll take a while to upload to the YouTube, but I, I got like almost one gig upload. And once it's uploaded, it'll be there. Oh, you know, every movie from Louisiana, you're in the big city and you turn on two minutes and you're in the middle of a swamp. I never heard that. Moonscape, yes. One channel for dancing and one for sleeping. Oh, 
Rose, that's wonderful. A back porch. I have yet to sleep in my own yard since we moved here and that was in 2004. I have never kept out, camped out in my own yard. Yeah. Stay on here for five hours. I, I bet it is fun. As long as the mosquitoes don't get you and you got a good campfire. Oh, a hammock. Up. Well, we got spiders and stuff around here and things in the trees. I don't want to sit in a hammock. Oh, that'd be really cool, a back porch to camp in. Yeah. Scrappy Dappy Doo, that was a long time ago. It's probably about well, four years ago. There went something across the moon. But if you got a fire, I think animals were scared of fires. Rose, I bet you would camp with me. You'd probably have all kinds of volunteers camping. <laughs> yeah. Rosie's a little baby. She's she's sleeping in her tree house. Oh no, Jay, honey. He got his mosquitoes there. Oh, I, I used my equatorial mount tripod. I tried to be careful turning the individual knobs instead of being in a hurry. cold at times and fires and sleeping bags. Somebody's insane? Oh. <laughs> Linda will go. Yeah. Oh, that was it, you all. That was the beginning of that moon video. It really was. It's like going boom. I did take um, pictures. I didn't show the pictures, but I'll show them of what they looked like. I'm going to come over here. Oopsie, it went off, you all. Look at these were the pictures. This is how it started off right here. If you can um, hear me, it was on 7:49, right there. This it's orange. It's orange. The moon had an orangish hue to it. That's a blurred part because it was trying to zoom in, and it did not want to focus right there either. That is the video. The moon still with like an orangish like hue behind it. And yes, there's all kinds of things in the clouds. You can you can see down here too, it doesn't look all that normal like a, a moon would look. It doesn't. And we already showed yesterday with this area looks like we did it says uh color bars all through it it's the bottom part of the moon and see all on the edges kind of does look like um some type of um whoops i guess that's it some more of the moon
Boom. I didn't do too much zooming up tonight. It's almost a full moon. Look at it. Oopsie. It's so massive. It's really pretty looking. Then we have this hoe over here that... I think, this, I think it's got a double hoe. It's like if it's a um, structure, things are going to fly in and out. You know, let's just don't don't zoom up on the moon too much. It looks like it's burnt on the top. It really does. When those clouds come through, they look like burnt, charboiled at the top. <laughs> Little charboiling on the moon. See, this doesn't even look like it stayed in the same place. I think there's things up here that literally rearrange themselves on the moon that should be inside the hole not outside the hole it too has moved it has the dyson sphere frank there is um a woman who speaks around seven different languages some professor and um she says it's a dyson sphere that got hauled over here now this may not be the one she's talking about this may very well be the projection of the one blurred blurred blur almost it's like 807 it's the last image almost that I took Looks so neat blurred that's why you can't get a picture with your cell phone because it's so blurred But it's a, a wonderful specimen to view. If you got um, that, that was it of that one, y'all. Me, gonna put it back to me. You see this right here? That's the moon. These are the structures on the moon. It's like the Death Star. It's like a hologram. It's like pixels. You got rights. This is, I blew the whole moon up. You can see all the different color bars. You can see, you can see the pinks, the greens, the whites. Is the music too loud, you all? Um, it's like a computer board. It's like checkers um yeah this is the it's the moon and this is why there looks like there's structures on it it's this stuff we want to go down to the moon go down to the bottom part of the moon because here is here comes the bottom part here's the here's the big one spot see it we're, we're actually um, going up the side of the moon over here. That's what you're looking at. We're going down toward the bottom of the moon, and this is what it looks like up close. With a little Luma on it. Luna got some Luma on it. It does. Illumination. We illuminated Luna a little bit more. Is what we did. All I did was sharpen it. That's it. Sharpened the image. So these would be the structures. If you got a big screen TV, you're going to be able to see this really well. You are. 
you can see right there in the center can you see in the very center like right here it's like wow it's all greens and reds and like big circuit boards it really is um, hello plug ugly who uh, Linda you gotta go good night we're going down the curb of this moon going down the edge toward the bottom and this is what it looks like super 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 close we are now entering this region down here let me we're entering um, this region down here of the moon that's what you're seeing on there right now the bottom part of the moon right here let me stick myself up here and get out of the way that's what you're looking at the bottom edge It doesn't appear <laughs> like it appears at a distance. It's it's much different. This makes up the images. The I just had a deja vu, a dizzy deja vu of this. A lightheaded deja vu. This is the bottom part of the moon at the seven o'clock position. And um, I've zoomed, I, have, I couldn't tell you how much I've zoomed up on this. And you can see the light bars are coming in on here too, and the, um, the circuits of the green and the pink and the reds. It's um, look at it. If you got a big screen TV, you're looking at this really good. You're seeing what it actually looks like. It's the whole bottom part. Now look at the very bottom of it, the very bottom of the moon. Can you all see the very edge or is it not big enough for you? I think you have the ability to, if you're on a cell phone, you have the ability to enlarge it with your fingers so you can see better. The police song, Nobody Walking on the Moon. Oh. The edge looks really good because it's like wowed. There's color bars going up the edge. Can you see the color bars on there, you all? If you enlarge it, you can see the red color bars going down into the dark area. Hello, Sabrina, honey. Oh, it's really visible. We're going around the edge, the front part of the moon. You can see it. A moon dance with Michael Jackson.
so it's really hard to see inside of craters because if you when you zoom up you ain't going to see what you think you're going to see you're going to see a light show like this if you really zoom this up you i'm just going to take one screenshot i don't really want to go to do a screenshot but i will i want you to see it look at it this is the screenshot and it's the edge of the moon look at that's what it looks like right here if you've got a cell phone i want you to see this up close this is the edge of the moon it's like it's a big circuit board or something it does and i don't want to pop your bubble and i don't want you to get disappointed at looking at the moon because it is really pretty to look at okay it's nice to look at it really is. I, I like looking at it. I like filming it. Even though it has this, it's a familiar object in the sky. It's very familiar. This has got some more blacks, black edges on it too. See all the black edges on it. The right here. It shouldn't look like this, but it does. It's all right. It's fine. Now you can see it. It's like wow. Um. I'm just I'm trying to make it all the way around the moon <laughs> around the moon in one live stream we're going at 47 minutes and I really it's hard for some people to watch long videos well I'm still going up the top of the moon for those who have seen like moving things at the top of the moon on the sides of the moon and edges of the moon this is what you're seeing squares and cubes and rectangles It, um, it's in the sky we're at the tippy top went to the top of the moon went to the moon he didn't even have to leave earth went to the moon on the YouTube channel this is the front this is the top part up there at this part position right up here right above my head this is the top part of the moon at it it's pretty wild look at the red bars in it too look at the red bars pink bars red bars purple bars color bars see them This is the structures on the moon. We want to call them structures. I mean, it's quite evident that it's um, quite different. Look how red this is on the inside too. Look at it. You can, there's no denying it. You, I didn't do anything to this, except um, some definition. Just sharpen the image. That's all I did. This is literally what's what we're viewing, and it reminds me of the stars. I'm just going to tell you the stars. When the stars are in the sky, I've done some videos. There are beams of light that literally they come at come up at this angle from the stars they're ground based and they're all at a certain angle in the sky 
at a certain angle to all the stars that are up there. You can see them, the, the, the bands of light like this, literally, they're coming from the stars and they're going down to the earth. They're these colors right here. When the, scar, the stars change their colors, they're these colors right there. But I like looking at the stars and I don't like zooming up like this on the stars. I'd rather look at their beautiful twirling frequencies. I really would. This is soothing. But I can compartmentalize and I can appreciate this looking for like it looks and I can appreciate the stars looking the way they look. I can and I can enjoy them. I can enjoy the good things in life even though I, I can see this happening I'm not gonna make it make me negative I'm just gonna be aware of it and um, keep going and enjoy my life as much as possible I would encourage you all to do it too this is the edge of the moon right there see coming back around it's all right it is it's all right if it's um a hologram or something there's nothing you can do about it I mean you can show it and just say oh wow look at that that's that door I think on the moon getting down to the bottom of the moon getting toward the bottom this is the crater right here this is the crater on the moon let's bring the moon back over here and all is well this is Oh, this is the video of the moon. This is the moon. It's okay. It's, it is. It's okay to know that the moon is um, like that. And um, these things are making the color of the moon look the way it looks. And um, it's all right in the big scope of our life. Um, you wouldn't know it unless you went looking. But you go looking for, you're going to find it in this life. Most of the time. Most of the time. Yeah. Sabrina, honey, you can live in Star Trek. It's okay. You can do it. Yes, you can. Yeah, so... Um, so that's what it looks like up close. And um, this is what it looks like far away, right here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? It's real cool, Gina, honey. I am gonna go, you all. I am going to go. Um, and, um, and yeah, I like I like viewing the moon. I do. Looks nice. Looks pretty. Um, so I'm gonna go. Thank you all for your comments. If you could give this video a thumbs up, that's wonderful, you all. These are your structures on the moon somewhat the same structures when the stars shape shift the color bars that are on the stars that um, come down from the sky to the earth the same thing it's all right it's no need to be afraid or anything at least you got awareness and you can just live your life enjoy it I encourage you to enjoy your life to the fullest really nobody's got all the answers that's right you got it Yes, we can do it. Yeah, I'm going to, um, I'm going to pause you, moon video. I'm going to go, you all, I am. So, um, thank you for watching, and, um, thank you, moderators. Thank you all for your comments, and, um, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world, hello, from my heart to yours, love you, have a, um, wonderful rest of your evening, and, um, yeah, this looks like this. Can I do anything about it? Well, I'm raising awareness. I'm not going to get upset. There's no need to. That's negative energy. I'm trying to keep my vibration high. <laughs> I would encourage you to keep your vibration high, too. You want that frequency. You want it up there. You do. Have a um, wonderful rest of your evening you all thank you so much for watching i don't even know if i said the hello did i because i got distracted it's 9 30 at night oh love you too i'm gonna say it again 
hello wherever you are in any part of the world hello from my heart to yours love you and um see you all next time good night